Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, taking a look at Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Uh, as you can see, it's the demo. I got my, my words tangled up there. As you can see, it's the demo. The full game's, I think, not out yet. I'm not sure if I want to get it or not. We'll see. Uh, Pikmin, I have only played Pikmin 2 before now, but I absolutely adored that game, so if this one is anywhere near as good, then I'm going to have a good time. Uh, so, hopefully it's anywhere near as good and I'm going to have a good time. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, if you're not familiar with Pikmin, it's basically Nintendo's take on the real-time strategy genre. It's very weird. Uh, you're controlling, like, a little space person, and they have a, a tiny army of vegetable people called Pikmin. They're those little colourful people. And you're leading them around and, like, throwing them at stuff and telling them to fight monsters and that kind of thing. Pikmin 3 Deluxe Demo. Press L plus R. Uh, let's see. Options? Uh, tile direction. Okay, you've got a decent amount of options here. Let's switch on gyro and see how we go, because I'm curious about it. Or well, maybe I should leave it on the defaults. Yeah, let's leave it on the defaults. Okay, story. How many players? Okay, apparently you can play with two players. There's only one of me here, so I'll play with one player. Uh... Okay, file one, I guess. Ultra spicy. Uh, let's play on normal. <laughs> so yeah, um, I've never played this game. At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Hopi. Okay. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic lack of planning. Hopi's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Yep. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. I'm sure I saw a potato there. <laughs> as they're about to give up. Reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilized to investigate the planet, which they named PNF 404. Phineas and Ferb? Last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. Explorer's 279,000 light year voyage nears its end. But as they initiate. So, can they fly faster than light, or. Something goes horribly wrong. Oh no! Something went horribly wrong. Okay, so yeah, I haven't played this game, but this is roughly the same sort of story in the first game. Uh. In Pikmin 2, you were just coming back to the planet to collect stuff because you wanted to make a profit. Like, your company was bankrupt, basically. Um, but in this one, it looks like it's it's back to being, you know, a disastrous sort of thing. Just, I think it's probably better? I don't know, we'll see. Do I need to press a button? No? Yes? Maybe? Ugh, what happened? Oh. I guess I'm playing as this guy. Where am I? The last thing I remember was... Oh, of course. This must be PNF 404. Charlie to ship. Charlie to ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat. Do you copy? Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew? Hmm. Tap 
Captain Charlie. I managed to escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I only hope they survived. Moving. Move with the left stick. If you get stuck in story mode, press up to view a strategy hint. You can hide them by going to more in other settings and changing hint display to off. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I can move around with the left stick. I'm doing it now. Uh, I can't do much else yet. I'm pressing other buttons and they're not reacting. I assume they'll start working in a moment. Huh? What in the... Mm -hmm. There are more of them. So strange. This planet's mushrooms are huge. Uh-oh. I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? My whistle will scare them off. I can sound it with B. I'm surrounded! Maybe I should throw them. I can't let it end like this. They don't appear hostile, so let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B, and throw them with A. Using the whistle, press B to blow the whistle and call Pikmin over. Hold B longer to increase the whistle's range. Throwing, take aim with L and press A to throw. Maybe these fellows can be of some use. Is that all of them? I should look around for my crew. It's hard to check my surroundings. Like I have camera control now. This is too hard to break. Better look for another route. They're still following me. Okay, I think I might turn the gyro on. Uh, let's see. I'm not quite sure what it'll do. But... Okay, it's kind of fiddly. Exploration, day one, 0846 AM. Alf's crash site. Okay, so I switched characters. Now I'm Alf. He's gonna find blue Pikmin, right? Probably. It's a miracle. 
I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Ow. Why do their spacesuits have whistles built in anyway? <laughs> Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members, as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. Okay, so you can walk around in water, you won't have a problem because you're wearing a space suit. As you can see. Oh, red Pikmin. Okay. What was that? Oh, I can't whistle yet. I need to do whatever cutscene it wants me to do first. It's the creature I saw just now. Looks like it's got friends. And what's that stuck in that branch? Okay, yeah, the gyro is a problem. Uh, I can't switch it off during this cutscene, though. Nice! I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellows seem quite pleased now that it's freed. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing. Face forward with Zettel and look around with R. R won't work if the Joy-Con is held sideways. Was I already given that tutorial? I wonder if changing this setting from stick to pointer makes it better. Actually, yeah, that is better. I don't know what it was doing by default. It wasn't good. This is much better. So, um, in Pikmin 2, there was some a movie you could do called Swarming. Uh, basically, you tilted the C-stick, all your Pikmin would walk in that direction, and they'd, like, attack anything they came and in, ran into or whatever. I think that's not part of this game, because the C-stick is camera. My cop pad! Thank goodness I found it. You're a cop? Disgusting. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. Oh, it's because the planet's called Copai or whatever. So it's, like, coat pad? Keep doing your job. The bridge is almost built. Wonderful, the bridge is complete. Let's go. <laughs> Great, it still works. Of course, I'd expect nothing less from cop copite. Co copite? Copite engineering? I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the copad screen. Use left to check your surroundings. Where's the Drake? Oh, it's over there. Aha! The SS Drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'd best head in that direction. Oh, 
Now we can start exploring with the help of the cop pad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. Using the camera, press minus to snap a photo. Alright. Yeah, we do want to take these if we can. Uh, these little red pill thingies. They come in other colours as well, but the red ones are for red Pikmin. You take them back to this thing, which is called an onion, and you get more Pikmin. And we want more Pikmin. We want lots of Pikmin. That thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. Red Pikmin. Oh, I see. So this is where those little creatures come from. What a strange thing. Press A to pluck a nearby Pikmin sprouts. Press B to cancel. Oh, you automatically do it. You just press it once and it'll pluck all of them. That's handy. Anyway, now we have eight Pikmin instead of... What did we have before? Four? So yeah, that's much better. We actually do need more Pikmin because we want to... Oh, hello. And yes, they can also take the little bodies of their enemies back to the onion in order to make more Pikmin. It's very disturbing. Yeah, I already did that. Lock on was that our name? Is there a button to reset the gyro in this game like there is in um, Splatoon? I feel like I need one. Reset camera ZL, does that work? No. Um... Press R to reset the pointer location. Okay. That's better. I'm guessing, yeah, they can't lift it alone. There we go. So yeah, this is roughly the same as Pikmin 2. Uh, I do like the new uh, motion controls, because Pikmin 2 was a GameCube game, it didn't have that. Uh, I believe they made a Wii version that did have like, pointer controls, but I never played that one, so. I miss swarming. I feel like they could have put it in the game and just given it different controls. Like, there's a whole bunch of buttons here, but they didn't. So yeah, I'm not pressing any buttons. Now they automatically walk to and pluck all the Pikmin in the area, which is nice. Okay, so now we've got all the Pikmin we need. We can go over here. This thing said 20, right? What is this enormous thing? The Drake must be somewhere on the other side of it. Yeah, 20. Yeah, in in um, the GameCube game, you could have just tilted the stick toward it and they'd all go on to it automatically without being thrown individually, which is 
better. Swarming is good. It's a shame it's not in this game. What's that? It looks like someone's left a data file here. Perhaps the cop pad will be able to read it. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Excellent! The cop pad can read the data file. So these creatures are called Pikmin? This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the cop pad's exploration notes. Alright. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file, so who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? Yes, the, the ones you're talk the ones you've been whistling at. These Pikmin are clearly intelligent. <laughs> like they don't speak your language, but they're clearly intelligent. <laughs> hmm. Using the radar too. Change the radar's orientation and other settings in the options menu. Eh, no thanks. Wow, those are massive, but they don't look edible. Maybe they're edible, you don't know. Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life? Maybe the Pikmin built them. Press X to perform a charge attack. Oh, okay, so a charge is kind of the replacement for swarming, I guess? You can just charge at something and send all your Pikmin that way? Hmm. I like swarming better. <laughs> My crew could learn a lot from this kind of teamwork. I think Pikmin 3 just never had the swarm feature, but they could have added it in this version because there's plenty of buttons to work with. It's, you know, it's a Switch game. There it is, the SS Drake! The cop pad isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? Incoming transmission, who could it be? Alf, it's me, Brittany! Do you copy? Thank goodness. You're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. Uh, the thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starved. Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. What's that strange sound? The sun is setting, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. Yeah, this is how all the Pikmin games work. At end of day, you gotta get back to your ship and, and leave the planet for the night because there's a whole lot of monsters around at night. And yeah, the onions also leave, which is why your Pikmin are safe during the night. You can see a little red one there. Most of the supplies we brought with us from Copper Eye were destroyed in the crash landing. So we now only have three days worth of edible provisions left. Wait, hang on, that was for three people. Did you eat- did you eat all the food for three people? Oh, rude. Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. Day one. Using the Radar 3, review the replay w with that button to fine-tune your strategy. Next. We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany, and we'll set out to find her tomorrow. 
Well, why didn't you save her today? When I took off in the ship, the onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Like, if it's too dangerous to be on the planet at night, you should probably, like, rescue your other crew members during the day be before the, the night happens, instead of leaving as soon as you find the ship. Hmm... Exploration Day 2. So there is a time limit in this game because of the limited food supply. Pikmin 2 had no time limit, Pikmin 1 did have a time limit. I think not having a time limit was better, so I don't know if it's really a strict time limit in this game. I guess we'll find out. Garden of Hope? I didn't press anything, it's just going on by itself. I fracked down Brittany's signal. Right now, finding her is my highest priority. However, I'm also very concerned that our cosmic drive key is now missing. If I don't find that, the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Kopai. That would be very, very bad. Okay, uh, let's land. Day two. Garden of Hope. Where's Brittany? Juice left. Times two. Brittany should be around here somewhere. We're running out of food, so I'd better find it before it's too late. You probably shouldn't have eaten all her food yesterday then, huh? It looks like the onion has followed me here, so where are the Pikmin? Oh, there they are. Oh, that's right. The data file I found explained all this. The onion is the Pikmin's nest. I'm going to install an application on the cop pad that lets me check the Pikmin status remotely. How? Alright. Could you say so? Dwarf Bulborb, aim for its back and for victory. Hmm. Oh, there's a Dwarf Bulborb. I might change it, change the gyro back off actually, it's a bit fiddly. It's probably why it's off by default. There we go. Actually, I can reduce this, right? Yeah, that works. Cool. More little Pikmin in my team. There we go. Still can't break this, right? Maybe I can. Mm, doesn't look like it. They can break this wall, though, right? Thank <laughs> you. 
Pikmin develop, they get faster, they grow from leaf to blood, bud to flower. Sure do. Oh, a flower bloomed on that Pikmin's head. It's amazing how many plant-like qualities they possess. I wonder if they develop any new skills with that flower. I keep close eye on them. When Pikmin consume nectar, they blossom into flower Pikmin. Sure do. Once Pikmin are done transporting fragments, they're returning to the original location with the fragments. Cool. Thanks for that. I guess that makes sense. Is there anything up there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Do -do -do -do. We can go this way now, because we built a bridge. Oh dear. Shh, it's asleep. I think we can sneak up on it. Attack from behind to gain the advantage. When the going gets tough, retreat to a hiding place and wait for an opportunity. Bam! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Some high voltage there. Uh, yellow Pikmin are immune to electricity. Red ones are uh, not. They're immune to fire. Uh, we haven't seen any fire yet, though. So that fact doesn't really help us that much. Okay, let's go big ol' squad of Pikmin. Uh, is there anything over here we want to look at? Doesn't look like it. He's just lying there. I hope I'm not too late. Pick up, Brittany. Pick up. Please still be alive. Alf? Sorry about that. I was just taking a little nap. So, you're close by? Why wasn't I moving, you asked? <laughs> well, you know me. I'm a pretty sound sleeper, even with all these creatures creeping around. But never mind that. Listen, I discovered what looks like a piece of fruit. It's over there. But I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Could you go and check it out for me? Over here? Oh, that's a strawberry. Wow, it's even bigger than I thought it would be. If this really is fruit, then it's a major discovery. I'd like to analyze it at the Drake, but how can I move it? I think I know a way you could move it. And uh, that's glass, I can't get through that yet. Oh, 
Will it go faster if I put more people in there, or does it not work that way? Oh yeah, that is faster. Alright. Recovering. Oh, the Drake is sending us a message. Analyzing recovery. Sunseed berry. Large quantities of Pictamen U detected. This is a seed bearing fruit, making cultivation on Cop Eye possible. Juice from this fruit is safe for consumption by crew members. Yay! I'll add a fruit file to the cop pad where we can store the results of our analysis. I mean, there might be things that aren't fruit, right? <laughs> nope, fruit file it is. But since I don't know much about plants, I'll ask Brittany to write the reports. She is the botanist after all. Okay, we got a fruit. Hmm. It's a little too far away to... Oh, we can go this way. I didn't see that before. Okay. Red Pikmin too. Red Pikmin are good fighters. That's good, because I have a whole bunch of them. Are we going to fight something? Just like a boss battle? What is that thing? Oh god. That looks scary. Rock Pikmin. Okay, these weren't in Pikmin 2. Are these creatures Pikmin 2? They're giving me a funny look. Do they want to break it? They seem to be Pikmin as well. Charge. Wow, they really pack a punch. Okay, I can break glass things. There, that should do the trick. <gasps> the rock onion. So, their onion was trapped inside that crystal. Since I have two types of Pikmin now, I can select the ones I want to use with L and R. Okay. And when I want to split them up by type, I'll use Y to dismiss the squad. Dismiss your squad with Y, and Pikmin will sort themselves into different colour groups. Yeah! Yesterday's foe is today's food. Rock Pikmin are very hard, like rocks. No way. I would never have thought of that. Let's get some rocks. New sprouts are with the same colour as the Pikmin that retrieved the pellet or creature. Oop, oh, no, you keep going. Yeah. Okay, so now we can break that glass outside because we have rock Pikmin who can smash glass things because they're like rocks and also they're like Pikmin. 
Alf, I've been waiting for you. I can't break through this wall. Oh, I have good news for you. Do something, Alf. Brittany. Whoa, I can't tell you how happy I am to get out of this place. I'm fed up of sleeping rough, and I'm super hungry. Uh, what's with your entourage there? What's that you say? They're called Pikmin? They're cute. Why, why didn't Alf just say that? Like, he's not a silent protagonist. But we don't have time for cuteness right now. Look over there, Alf. A lemon. Let's work together and nab that huge piece of fruit. Okay. Throw me. Can I do that? I oh, I guess I can. I did throw you. Okay, let's throw some Pikmin. Okay. I'll take it from here. Press Y and select me if you'd be so kind. Press Y to open the menu and switch leaders. Split into two squads to manage your workload more effectively. Alright. Is there anything else of interest up here? Doesn't look like it. On the cop pad's radar, align with your destination and select go here with A <coughs> with A to start moving. There's even a data file about this? Now that I think about it, there was indeed a go here function built into the radar. We should try it out soon. It seems like it'd be helpful if we decide to split into multiple squads. Oh god, enemies. Hey, you get, go this way. Yeah, okay. Rock Pikmin 2, break the crystal nodule for a chance to attack. I guess I did that already. Pikminology. The pellet will produce more sprouts when retrieved by Pikmin of the color of the pellet. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Looks like they're changing color. That's a bit confusing. Uh, 
Are there more fragments missed, left over that I've missed some somewhere? Hmm, maybe. Oh yeah, here's some more fragments. Okay. <laughs> Oh, there's a strawberry. You get it. <laughs> I don't know how, but you get it. I probably need to go back to the um back to the cave because that's where the rock the rock ones will be. Hmm. Okay, I can do that. Not a problem. Okay, you can pick go here like this, and then they just automatically start walking. I assume if I had separate, uh, if I had uh, Brittany doing something else, she'd just keep doing it. I mean, I could like control her doing something else while these guys are doing their thing. Cool. And I guess that works well with like, can you multiplayer on multiple consoles? Because that would be pretty cool. Or like in, in split screen maybe? I don't know. Because it seems like you're supposed to be able to do multiple things in tandem. <laughs> okay, there's still more Pikmin somewhere. Minus, uh... Is there a way to find them that I, I haven't noticed? <laughs> Uh, I don't want to lose them. Uh, are they over here somewhere? Yep, there they are. Okay. I need to walk around here so they can... Yeah, okay. There we go. Okay, there's one more glass barrier over here we can still break, so let's go do that. Let's also play it with Brittany, because that's how I roll. <laughs> now, what could this be? The radar's picking something up. The radar's detecting a signal of some sort. Maybe it's a new type of food. Does food give off signals? Let's go and look right away. Red Pikmin are resistant to fire. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, these guys, yeah, these guys make fire. Uh, let me just drop everything off over here a little bit. Uh, I only want these ones. No, I... Yeah, just the red ones. You will stay here for a little bit. Uh, 
It will be sundown before too long. Alf, didn't you mention that nocturnal predators will attack any stray Pikmin? It looks like the Pikmin in the area of the nest thing we call an onion can get back on their own though. Do I have to take the rocks back? In, are in your squad all close to the onion when the sun sets? Okay, so for them in your squad it's fine. I better call back the Pikmin who aren't in my squad before it's too late. But it could be tiring to walk around everywhere to kill the Pikmin. So I'll make sure that when you press A near the ZSS Drake, a whistle will sound that will call all Pikmin back to the onion. Okay, that sounds helpful. I'm not sure how much time we have left, so we should probably start heading back. I think we're all safe now. Have a little bit more of a look around. There's another data file here. Du, 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 du. Oh, a bridge! On the opposite shore, there are materials for building a bridge. I bet if Alf and I work together, we can get get it done in no time. To ask Alf to join the squad, move the cursor over to him and call him by pressing B. Du, 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 du. Move the cursor to your target and press set out to lock on. Throw non-stop pressing and holding A. Oh, you can you can keep throwing by holding the button? Huh, I've just been mashing the button. Okay, I think we'll have enough time to get them back. They're very close to the young and they should be okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the onion stopped spitting out seeds. But the Pikmin inside the onion still seem to be increasing in numbers. Apparently once the service population reaches 100, new Pikmin are born inside the onion. This means that a maximum of 100 Pikmin can be active outside the onion at any one time. There is a limited number of Pikmin on the surface at a time, but more can sprout inside the onion. Okay, I think let's just call it end of day at this point. If you press A here... Uh, no, there's no Pikmin on the squad, we don't need to do that. Oh, there's a countdown! I'm seeing a bit of a frame rate drop. Hopefully that's not too bad. Hmm. Let's see if I can quit some stuff on my computer to make it perform a little better. Two onions now. Two of them. Okay, I quit my web browser. That should help a lot. Wow, they merged! Well, well. So two onions can combine into one. Very interesting. I have to make a note of this. Different coloured onions can fuse to become a single onion. I guess they just wanted to keep it compact. In the previous game there were like three main onions and they didn't take up too much space. <laughs> Face wrinkler. I think it's called a lemon.
of rationing out the food supply. Alf can make do with a slightly smaller portion. It's good to build our juice supply like this, but should be all right for a little while. Back on board, we run an analysis on the fruit we retrieved and found it suitable for co copperite consumption. Looks like there was plenty more where that came from. Reuniting with Brittany, finding this fruit? It's still early, but things seem to be taking a turn for the better. We haven't found the captain yet. Saving, saved. Exploration day three. We finally discovered edible matter. After close analysis, my conclusion is that the fruit juice is delicious. I've never tasted anything like that on Copper Eye. We need to continue our search. If there is more to be had, we should have it. Right, let's focus all of our energy on finding more fruit and absolutely nothing else. We still need the cosmic drive key. We can't get home without that. Right, let's focus all energy on retrieving fruit and the key and absolutely nothing else. The captain. We're still to find the captain as well. Alright, so we'll just get the food, the key, and the captain. Is there anything else I'm not- anything else I'm forgetting? What's that signal coming from over there? I sincerely hope it's the captain. Let's hurry over there and find out. Good idea. He might be hogging all the fruit for himself. Okay, we're coming up on about an hour, so I, I probably won't play a full another day, but... Uh... Garden of Hope, the captain's signal. Juice left, four. Uh, I should probably wrap up the video soonish. Oh, that's what the onion does when it has two colours. Nice. So yeah, I guess I'll start wrapping up. This game's cool. <laughs> um, I do I do still miss swarming. I think charging's not as good. Oh, we got here. Rock peak men aren't crushed when trampled on. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Do I run? <laughs> Yellow Wally Hop. It can't jump when it's weighed down with Pikmin. So that's the thing I just defeated? Okay.
That's pretty much what I wanted you to do. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh, what do we got here? Some sort of weight mini game thing? Oh, we want to get past the electric fence. Oh, I see. So we need to. Yeah, throw. Uh, we need, we need another explorer. Yeah. Yeah, because then from there you can throw them to there, and then... Oh, this looks complicated. Hmm. Where, where did he go? Did I tell him to go to the wrong, pl wrong place? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh, you can't throw them that high. I see. Okay, that makes sense. Physics puzzles. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I don't think I can throw them that far. Let's see. Oh, no, I can. I don't seem to be doing anything over there is the only thing. Hmm. get that. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, I'm liking this. Um, if I go to title screen, today's final report will not be saved. I think that means it just resets the day over. I'm just gonna have a quick check. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, it looks like it. Day three, yeah, cool. Okay. So you can and you can actually rewind if you mess up a day, you can do it again differently, which is nice. Okay, um anyway, yeah, so this is Pikmin 3. Uh it looks pretty fun. Um I do think the swarming feature being missing is sad. I I, I believe in um, in Pikmin 2 it was you had L to move the camera behind you, which is still in this game, it's ZL, um, but you didn't have like full camera control. You still don't have full camera control in this one though, you only have like a horizontal control, you can't move it up and down. So I don't think using up the whole like right analog stick for that is worth it. I think it would make more sense for the right analog stick to still be swarming. Uh, it's a shame that it's not, it's not an option as far as I can tell. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like that's an option, which is a bit sad. 
Um, anyway, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'll probably be getting this game because I really like Pikmin and this one looks like fun. Um, I think Pikmin 2 may have been better in certain ways, but you know, this one's still fun. So that's okay. And I'm guessing most of these I can't pick. Oh, I can pick some of these? Hang on, mission? I can pick mission mode. Let's have a, a quick little look at this. Just, just a little peek. Okay, so you get a little sample of this. Just a little taste. Tropical forest time at seven minutes. Also, all the treasures in this game seem to be fruit. In the previous game, Pikmin 2, uh, there were treasures that were just like random objects, uh, which I think was more fun. You found things like batteries and like they had to make sense of what a battery is. Because um it's kinda hard to tell from this from this game at the moment, but uh the the um alien captains are really, really small. Like they're pretty much the size uh of you know, like a coin, basically. Uh, they're very small. And so when you'd find objects like batteries and stuff, they'd be enormous and it's like, what is this massive object? And it was, it was fun. Looks like you don't actually get more Pikmin as you take stuff out in this mode, which is interesting. Anything else over there? Oh, a golden cherry. But that's really good. Yeah, you don't get more Pikmin, even though you're bringing stuff back. It's kind of weird. Well, there's some glass over there. there. Must be a way to get out of the Pikmin. Maybe you need to find pellets. Oh, I don't really like this Y button menu thing. It's a little fiddly to work with. You have to press, like, hold Y and then tilt the stick in the direction you want in order to do things. It's just a little bit of a hassle. Ah! Become powerful. Rock Pikmin, yeah, let's go. Okay, so that's how you get the other types of Pikmin, you just find them. I guess that makes sense. Ridiculously hard to build bridge that just needs like a dozen pieces. Not a dozen pieces, like 50 pieces. I don't know why I said a dozen, that was way less than you need. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, challenge mode looks alright. I mean, I, I prefer the normal gameplay. I, I like building up Pikmin as you adventure around and stuff. Uh, but of course that's in the game too, so that's okay.
What the? What's going on there? Oh, there's nothing under there? Hmm. I thought I was digging out something interesting, but apparently not. <laughs> okay. Uh, charge. Then get over here. One minute left. Oh, an apple. Yeah, I'm not playing very well. <laughs> Give me that golden strawberry. I desperately need the golden strawberry. Swarming is still better. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> oh, I won? Oh, okay. I was not expecting that. <laughs> what did I get? Oh, bronze. Okay. Cool, uh, cool. Okay, so yeah, I think that's about all I need to show here. So that's Pikmin 3 Deluxe. It looks like it's basically a Pikmin game. This concludes the demo. Demo save data can be important to the full version like to continue your progress. Oh, uh, to title screen? Does that conclude the demo? Can I... I mean, I, I know we only get one challenge level, but can I play more story mode, or is it just all ended now? Let's have a quick look. It looks like I can keep going. Alright. Well, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>